Hey what's going on guys, it's Turks back with another video and today we have a video on the RuneScape bot farm that I've been working on the past month or so. Um, I have an update for you guys and I wanted to provide some information. Uh, I appreciate all the views and all the subscribers and things like that that has come from my last video which was uh, the RuneScape ban uh, hypothesis. So I appreciate everybody that's come from that video and if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I did not expect that video to get as many views as it did and it was actually quite shocking i appreciate every single one of you guys thanks a ton but um let's get right into it so i have two two uh clients open up here this one is one that was already running so i'm going to rerun the script here this one is a fresh account so these two accounts uh are going to be running a sp specific script that i've created and it uh implements auto healing and things like that well it it implements something new that i've created which is like a, a muling but transferring from the mule to the worker so that it can do things that it needs to do. So, yeah. This account is going to... Had an issue. I haven't implemented logging in. Oh, well, it's logging in. I guess it'll work. Well, I guess I don't need to implement logging, but I still am going to do it because I need to monitor bands. But... Anyways, it was having an issue log into the world 330, I guess, because it was full, so it kicked it out to the uh, login screen, but it didn't, didn't seem to have an issue there. Um, anyways, uh, these accounts are running a specific script that I have created that are getting prerequisites for a certain farming method. If you guys can guess this farming method correctly, I will give, uh, let's see, we'll do, if, depending on how much I make from this bot farm, uh, within the first week or so that I've that I run it, I will give you guys around anywhere from fifty to a hundred mil. So leave a comment, and the first person to guess it will get a hundred mil. Just leave your RSN and what the bot farm, what you think the bot farm is going to do. I'm gonna try and remove all the script names from it so that you guys can't see what the script name is and just steal that. But uh, the first person to comment what this script is going to complete uh, gets fifty to a hundred mil. So take a guess. Uh, as you watch the video, you might get an idea. Uh, let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start this. It's going to be a test. I'm going to set proxies to four and we're going to click start, start farming. Because once this account, um, it's going to call basically a mule and it's going to say, hey, I need money. So we need to have this running in order for it to get a mule. So while this is running, um, go ahead and open up another task here. Uh, start. Now, so we'll do like a test amount. We'll minimize this. We'll Going on there that's just the mule being called so that cl client has been created and was opened up and it's going to basically transfer gold over to this worker that it, that called for the gold here so now we wait um so yeah this is the twitch loader it's very ugly this is my first time coding a gui by just using uh by using text and not an actual designer so it was just it was just a lot faster to do it this way and i didn't really i don't really care for gui too much honestly kind of did it just to kind of show you guys like what you can do with your GUI. I don't necessarily think that a GUI is always the best. I think command lines are just opening up a CMD and just entering, entering in the values that you need is sufficient. And uh, GUI is just kind of unnecessary, but it does help speed up the process, especially with this loader here and things like that. I mean, it does have its pros and its, but uh, yeah. So we have a loader here, which is going to take in a format of user pass like so but uh it loads all these accounts one by one but in the future i'm going to implement something to where it will uh create a statement and it will have that statement uh it'll basically have that statement come up and doing here hold on my one second my seems like it's having an issue oh never mind it was just waiting for it to pull out the money through the bank it is working so let's go ahead and minimize that once more uh as you can see this is a hint for you guys so you guys can see what this bot may do i don't know why it did not deposit those golden amulets but it should have we'll go ahead and check where it went wrong and fix that in just a minute after this video but yeah this is just part of the process and part of the issues that you're going to run into if you're a script creator you have to resolve them typically you want to try and do these checks before it runs into the issue but sometimes it's possible that's okay so let's go ahead and so yeah the uh, Twitch loader, this loads all the accounts one by one, but I'm going to create something that will make a multiple, like a, uh, a statement builder that creates a string and will basically send that statement to the server as one instead of one by one. It's faster. 
Uh, so let's click start farming here. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch these bots kind of run. Uh, hopefully this, it, it, it's gonna look bot-like because it is a bot after all, but um, it's okay, that's fine, it is what it is. Um, but try and take a guess at what this bot's end goal is. You have to guess what the gold farm basically is gonna be consisting of, what the main um, farming method will be. But I'm gonna let this run and speed up this process and basically let you guys kind of see what's going on while these accounts run in the background and add to my database. So. Okay guys, I'm back. So as you can see at the bottom left here, uh, if you look at the, uh, it says one account's added to the SQL database success successfully. So all that means is basically that it added the uh, account to the database uh, with a status that I can use to kind of uh, recognize it, that it has membership, that it needs to So it basically just has an enumeration that says something like has membership, uh, needs to tour. Um, so, the way that this works here is that it's going through and it's uh, using an email that I've, uh, it generates a random username and email, whatever, that's that's normal. And then it goes and then it will uh, confirm that email, then it will delete that com confirmation email from my server so that I don't have to store it on my server and take up space. And then after it uh, deletes it from the server, then it will continue on and it will sign into a Twitch Prime account that I have given it, which would be uh, something that I purchased from another user or something like that. And be careful when you guys buy these accounts. I've already been scammed like twice. They sell me like 20 accounts legit, and then I buy another 20 accounts legit. Then I buy 100, and then these cheap bastards fucking scam me for like 30 bucks. So crazy uh, what people do for such small amounts of money. But um, whatever. Uh, we found a legitimate, per legitimate person that is going to be able to supply us with accounts, hopefully, uh, for the long term. And he has not, uh, he has not scammed us yet, so let's hope for the best. And let's hope that he doesn't scam us in the future either. Uh, but yeah, it it basically signs into the Amazon account. It will claim the offer because you have to claim the offer before you go to the website and link these two accounts together. So it signs into the Twitch account, uses an uh, access token to then claim a uh, to claim the RuneScape membership bullshit. And then it will go to the RuneScape membership website and then it'll link the two accounts together. And once it successfully links those two accounts together, it prints out this status here, which is directly from RuneScape, which is result redeemed uh, display name, no name set, account ID, account ID. So, uh, yeah, that's all that means is that it successfully redeemed the membership on the account and that account will then have membership. Um, simple as that. But... Um, yeah, it's pr it's pretty uh it's not too fast because it has to do a lot of checks and things like that and it has captcha uh maybe it'll have captcha depending on the proxy and depending on how many failed attempts it has but uh it's not very expensive at all let me check how much i spent these five here so for those five i paid about two cents or three cents closer to three cents so I paid about three cents for these accounts to basically get uh, Twitch Prime linked to them and created and email confirmed. That's the total price. And then plus the Twitch Prime account, which is around 50 cents. So 50 cents plus, so 53 cents for 14 days of membership that I can farm for an crazy amount of money. 
uh, that's definitely worth it in my opinion. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I've got done so far. This account, right, or this uh, script that I've created here, uh, it's currently stuck. It's just in a kind of AFK for a bit, but that's fine. I'll get these kinks out whenever I look into them a bit more after this video. Um, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I was doing and what I've been working on. I cannot connect, collect as much data right now because I was going to collect all that data on free to play. Uh, but I still can collect a certain amount of data with these pay to play accounts because it still does have those fields that is required to kind of collect um, data in terms of like equipment used and things like that and what type of activities it's doing. Things like that uh, I can collect data on, but I cannot collect data on the things that I was in terms of breaking because I have not fully implemented breaking and I'm going to be suicide botting the all of these accounts once they're done with this they're going to basically suicide bot on the task that you guys are trying to guess at if you guys can guess it correctly once again you guys do get 50 to 100 mil and um, what else after this script is done with the uh, the prayer I haven't implemented it to, to the point where it will um, where it will continue because I haven't got that far because I've only been coding this for about two days. But um, I will keep, guys, keep you guys updated and I will give you guys some more information as the information comes to me and as I start to build more scripts and things like that. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, and leave a like on this video. Turn on the post notifications if you want to be the first to be notified of this bot farm and the updates in regards to it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.